if anybody talk about Kareem wrong, we we'll always talk about like reading music and sight reading and seeing, you know, op operating that aspect of it, you know. But uh, music literacy really transformed my musical abilities. What really gave him the, the edge eventually, we met the late great Dr. Pat Bishop in 1994. When Pat came to the school, she was impressed. She noticed that, you know, we, we spoke in musical language. Um, I wouldn't say, I would call and say, what bar to check on? So she asked if they could read music. I say, well, we're now learning. And she asked us to um, accompany her choir, the lady and singer, at the Christmas concert. <laughs> Time, Lady and Steel was in the forefront of that movement to get pan people to read music and play by score. Kareem quickly went from I writing a fake score for them, writing the name, the letter name, and the note, shaping the value where it's supposed to be, to taking up the lead score for himself. Don't want no notes written on it, and started to sight read. I think it was very important because of the um, who Pat Bishop is, what she is, what she represents in the state band movement. She has a lot of um, she has a lot of information and gifts to share. And she used to nurture me and call me and come down and chill out by the house in, in Woodbrook there. She had some nice spending whole day there and um, you know just doing music or listening. She used to be listening and sometimes maybe doing some research. She used to have you study the piece, study the type of devices used, so that when you're going to do it, you know exactly what it is, what is required of the piece. And you know, from then on, you know, I keep using those those tools, you know. Pat was always a detailed person, you know. So that kind of help, you know, in terms of um, my dexterity and soloing and, you know, and also the reading too as well. So in the DNC, it was always reading. It's not like now when in NSSO you're given one line, you have a tenor line. Or, you know, in, in, in the DNC, Pat used to give you the whole book to the conductor's course. <laughs> it used to be plenty to then. Orchestra, if you're playing a violin line, it's not all the time the violin would be given music. So at some point in time, it'll have rest. She said, Not a rest in here, right? <laughs> so that means you had to jump from the violin to an over line or a horn in F, or you had to transpose one time. So at that time, you're seeing, you're not just seeing your line, so she's making sure that you're seeing everybody's line. In the middle of the performance, Pat will just say, I'm not hearing the second violin. And Kareem will have to jump to play the second violin line in the middle of the show. And uh, Ms. B, Brong, you have to play. Play, play. And that is just some of the challenges. And he, he, was, already, he was always open to the challenge. Anything that none of us would even think about adventuring to play, because again, we now learning to read. She would call on Kareem, I have this score I wanted to try. I have this thing I wanted to do. And Kareem got all the difficult lines. He got all the difficult passages to play. And he would just suck it up like a sponge and play. And Pat had that, that nurture and she would, when it, it becomes difficult for him, he had to go to her house. She, he would practically live there until it's mastered because she wants him to be so perfect at what he's doing, you know. Even with Ben, they had Kareem as this, you know, they, 
he had to always be perfect at what he did and made sure that whenever he's presented or he's presenting any work, it has to be at a particular standard or nothing else. It's either you can play it or you can't play it, right? <laughs> and as you know, if, if you can't play it, she put Chicago Bell and you know, rehearse it until you can play it, right? <laughs> she will keep pushing Kareem, pushing Kareem. She, she will find pieces that she want Kareem to play. You know, one of the pieces, um, one of his pet pieces, um, Takata, he, he fell in love with that piece because um, he was at UWE also. Then he said, um, you know, that's a piece he heard Dr. Osborne play and whatnot. So she, she continued to challenge him and he will accept the challenge from Pat every time. I don't know how to describe Kareem Brown, eh? When I thought that um, a music literate steel band would make sense, I met him and Ben and a whole slew of them, and I tried to make um, Lydian steel. And the, the whole trick of it was that He'd come into the band if he could read music or prepare to learn. Where we are today may indicate to them that music literacy for steel band and everybody else that makes music is important. And that's why I'm going to ask him and those of Lydian Steel who are here to play the Vido Takata, which has much to do with anything easy. It's real hard to play. soloist he has known for a long time not least of all because of me but what is important is that he took the time to practice to understand that you don't get it out just so it was difficult but eventually I was able to master it and um you know, it was the Lindy and I, she would have played um, keyboards with an a, um, a organ type um, tone and I played the pan and I, when I, every time I finished playing I used to like <sighs> because it was like, it's non-stop notes and the only time you're rolling or holding a note for like more than two pieces is the end of the piece. a better musician I kind of understand music and how to do the music how to produce it compose it you know I, mean, I think I, I, I able to operate on the same level I mean I'd be as as great as Booksy but I'll be able to operate on that level you know doing the music a certain way compose right Kareem because he he, he didn't want any boundary with him where the steel pan is concerned he wanted to be able to do it um, to be able to read the music, to interpret, it, to interpret the music the correct way. He wanted to be a, a good player. He wanted to be able to fit in anywhere where steel band is concerned. So you understand the importance of the music literacy very early. Because apart, the theory became practice. So we were practicing regular as, you know, to be as literate as, as possible. Even if we're just playing the instrument or sight reading the music. I mean, because the kind of pieces we play, I don't think steel bands start to even attack it. Mm -hmm. 